If x of n equal to 1 by 3 whole power mod n minus 1 by 2 whole power n u of n, then the region of convergence ROC of its z transform in the z plane is. The options given are 1 by 3 less than mod z less than 3, 1 by 3 less than mod z less than 1 by 2, 1 by 2 less than mod z less than 3. And the fourth one is mod z greater than 1 by 3. First of all, given x of n equal to how much? 1 by 3 whole power mod n minus 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. First of all, always remember a power n u of n has 1 by 1 minus a z inverse as z transform and mod z greater than mod a as ROC minus a power n u of n minus n minus 1 has 1 by 1 minus a z inverse comma mod z less than mod a. These are the very important formulas in z transform and the other one is the definition of mod n. Mod n is equal to n if n greater than 0 is equal to minus n if n less than 0 is equal to 0 if n equal to 0. Fine. Now proceed from with the question. As x of n is equal to 1 by 3 whole power mod n which means for n greater than 0 1 by 3 whole power n. For n greater than 0 I am writing u of n plus 1 by 3 whole power minus n for n less than 0. Why? Because see 1 by 3 whole power mod n for n. Okay. At n equal to 0 it is 1. At n equal to 1 it is 1 by 3. n equal to 2 1 by 3 square 1 by 9. So on it decreases. Okay. Similarly this side also same 1 by 3 at minus 1 and 1 by 9 at minus 2. So on it decreases. Therefore, I can write this positive part as 1 by 3 whole power n u of n and this negative part as 1 by 3 whole power minus n u of minus n minus 1. See, u of n is telling the positive side only. In the negative side, it is not there. 1 by 3 whole power n u of n gives this part. 1 by 3 whole power minus n u of minus n minus 1 says the left side part. Now, let us check 1 by 3 whole power n 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 is how much n equal to minus 1 it gives 1 by 3 so this is okay for, for a power n u of n what is the z transform the region of convergence mod z greater than mod a mod a is 1 by 3 for this it is mod z less than mod a what is a 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 that is 3 See, a power n u of n, a power n u of n. So, here a power minus n. So, convert into a power n. So, 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 whole power n. This is equal to 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 whole power n. Which is equal to 3 power n u of minus n minus 1. Okay. So, mod z less than 3. Uh, now, x of n is what? 1 by 3 whole power mod n minus 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. From here we can say that the ROC of x 1 by 3 whole power mod n is mod z greater than 1 by 3 comma mod z less than 3. For this a power n u of n. So mod z greater than 1 by 2. Okay. The, fi x the final ROC is intersection of all these ROCs. If x of n equal to x1 n plus x2 n. The ROC of x of n is R1, R1 let us say R2, ROC of x1 and x2 n. Then ROC of x, x of n is what? R1 intersection R2. That is why 1 by 3 whole power mod n it can be written as this one plus this one. So the intersection of this is the final ROC. And x of n is 1 by 3 whole power mod n minus 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. So, ROC is intersection of all these three. The intersection is C here. 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 3. Okay. This is mod z equal to 1 by 3. Mod z equal to 1 by 2. Mod z equal to 3. Okay. Hmm. Mod z greater than 1 by 3 is the first thing. Mod z less than 3 is the second thing. So, this patch is important. And mod z greater than 1 by 2. Therefore, the final ROC is this one the blue one.
this is the intersection of all this okay or directly draw like this this is 1 by 3 1 by 2 1 by this is 3 so mod z greater than 1 by 3 is the first thing so it should go this side and mod z greater than 1 by 2 is the other thing so this should go this side okay and for 3 it should be less than this one so the intersection part is this one so it is nothing but 1 by 2 less than therefore roc of x of n mod z is between 3 and 1 by 2 fine this question the important things are a power n u of n mi minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 these definitions are important in the second one the understanding of modern okay so the answer is c